Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I want to discuss a product that I'm really excited about releasing because I know it's going to help a tremendous amount of people out there who have been stuck typically mounting their VFD base in a really inconvenient location based on where their table is and based of course where the wiring is that they can actually wire everything into the table. Um, one of the biggest hassles with the VFD is that you always are stuck with the digital interface being mounted into it and then of course your next option is to try to control the spindle in Mach 3 because you want to be able to do everything in one centrally located area that's convenient. Well the problem when you try to have the spindle controlled in Mach 3 as far as speed um, you're always dealing with uncalibrated speed. It'll be close, it'll never be accurate. How close, we don't know. Um, that being said, to me, that makes it all but useless. And guys that are dealing with high-end substrates, again, it makes it all but useless. Uh, so what I wanted to do is give you the next best thing. And what I came up with was a 40-foot extension cable that will allow you to extend the actual digital interface of the VFD's base so that you could actually use this as a handheld module or it comes with a toolless base mount. So you could either toolessly mount it with thumb nuts, you could use magnets, whatever you choose to do, but the beauty of the unit is how simple it is. You would remove the base plate, of course, on the VFD, you plug in your one end of the plug there, the other end gets plugged into here. You can see I've got the stock plug that came on the unit, and with that being installed, you can see just how the unit functions. If you have a, a, an actual enclosure of mine, you could actually mount this unit on the front of it. You could mount it anywhere in the shop you'd like, or like I said, if you're doing any type of prototyping, it's really nice to be able to walk around the machine, have, a hand, have the handheld uh, interface, and be able to actually see the RPM or frequency you're running, whether you need to accelerate, decelerate, you can do it on the fly, and best of all, you know the accurate RPM. Um, once again, using a relay, if you're using a G540 or whatever system you're using to actually cycle on the unit on and off, it's still an option in Mach 3, that works great, but this is the next best thing to having, you know, a full encoder on your spindle because, of course, this readout will be accurate, and that's really what we're looking for, and of course, we're looking for convenience, and with 40 feet, you can run this basically anywhere you want in your shop. The kit will come complete with the cabling. It will come complete with the base mount. And again, um, this is just a stock cable, but it gives you an idea of exactly how this works. You can run the cable down. I'm just going to pan the camera down so you can see it. You run the cable down. You can run the cable up. And best of all, like I said, you can mount it wherever you'd like. You could either use the um, included thumb nuts. Hold on one second. You can either use the included thumb nuts so you got a toolless mount if you wanted to use it as an actual pendant you can actually then demount that from the front of wherever you mount it walk around with it on the fly adjustment get done remount it to wherever you are or you could use magnets you could use basically whatever you'd like um, to show you how the mount works very very simple i'm utilizing the two screws in the actual base of the unit because of course we don't want to damage our circuit board and again uh, you only have one mount there that's not an issue. Again, you, you will see that they'll move like this, but of course, once you have the four actual posts mounted or screwed in, your unit will not move. So you'll be all set there. And again, you don't have to use these. That's, it just comes with it to make it a much more convenient kit. And on top of that, this will now solve an age old problem of using the spindles that are out, the HY spindles that are out and dealing with a really difficult situation when you have to mount the VFD's base in a really inconvenient location. And you really always want to have this information in front of you. I personally like having this mounted on my controller's box or right near Mach 3. And you have all that information right there. And again, using the toolless mount, it doesn't get any easier than undoing the thumb nuts. And you can walk around with the unit to get right close up to your table and make on-the-fly adjustments if required and have all the information you need for your spindle. So again, I'm real excited. I hope this helps a lot of you. I know that uh, a lot of guys have been asking me constantly about when I'm going to release the kit, you know, what's it going to include, and now you guys see exactly what it includes. It's very, very simple. It doesn't require any, you know, extreme programming in Mach 3. It's a simple plug-and-play design. You will, once again, just remove the, the actual screws off the base cover. you got four screws to remove, two here. There's one here and one on this side. And once this base comes out, there's another two set of screws right underneath. You'll see it. That pops off. Once the face pops off, plug in the cable, plug in the other end into the base of the D, uh, digital interface, and you're all set to go. 
So again, I hope this helps a lot of you. I know the guys that are dealing with higher end substrates, 6061 billet, um, you know, if you're dealing with steel machining, whatever you're dealing with that's high end, uh, carbon fiber, composite, graphite, this is critical. When you're dealing with a really, really close proximity with, with the actual uh, RPM and frequency, this is something that is just, it's just amazing to save the life of the end mill and the machine. I cannot emphasize that enough. And of course, your substrate. You know, if you're dealing with wood and you're going too fast or your, your, your feed rate is too slow, you may be burning it. Again, the only accurate way to machine is to know your RPM and make sure it's accurate. And this gives you the best of everything. It gives you remote mount and it gives you the option to see everything that you need to see to keep your machining as accurate as possible. So once again, my name is Vince. Um, this will be released again in my uh, eDealer Direct store. It's eDealer Direct Automation. eBay cut the end off. If you do need to get in touch with me, I can custom configure these. Um, the, the, these cables are not cheap, guys. These flat ribbon cables, to have them extended this long, they are not cheap. So I did my best to put the kit together at a reasonable rate. It's just a very, very tedious process when you're dealing with the length of ribbon cable this long. So again, um, I'm going to release this in as many formats as I can. I thought 40 foot was more than enough usually to cover most shops. If you do have a shop that it doesn't work with, um, to go shorter, I can't really go shorter than this. It wouldn't be financially feasible. Um, so please don't ask me to go shorter, but if you need it longer, I, I, depending upon how long you want to go, we could always we could see what we could do with that. I mean, that's always an option. Um, for the guys out there that are crafty, you could always just splice in your own plug. I mean, if you did need it shorter, it's always a possibility. But again, 40 foot just gives you optimal room to really move around the shop. So again, my name is Vince, eDealers Direct Automation. If you do need anything, um, you can message me at my email. It's storm, S-T-O-R-M, 2313 at gmail.com. Or you can message me direct on my eBay store, eDealers Direct. Thank you again. Take care.